I dropped my pick. That ever happened to you? Especially when you're playing live, you get all worked up, juices flowing, all of a sudden your pick flies out of your hand. So what are you gonna do? Well, first of all, I'm gonna lean over and pick that up because that's a real pain, especially if you're standing up and playing when you're on stage. Most picks, as I'm sure you know, are pretty slick. Some just have like a little bit of printing on there, which theoretically helps you grip that pick. What you find though, is that the slicker the pick, the more you tend to grip it with an iron fist. And that is not conducive to playing your best. In fact, it's actually conducive to tendonitis. There's a lot of guitarists who end up fighting tendonitis and it's largely because of the darn picks that they use. So I wanted to share with you today a guitar discovery that I think is a really important one, and that is a pick that makes it easier to grip. So welcome to Guitar Discoveries. I'm Robert Cassard, longtime musician and producer. Um, I've probably used almost every kind of pick out there in my lifetime, and both in the studio and live. In the studio, you got a lot more flexibility. If something falls out of your hand, it really doesn't matter a whole lot, pick it up and play. Uh, but when you're on stage, it's a different story. And so what I wanna share today is a guitar discovery that may seem minor, but I think it's pretty major because since I switched to using these picks on stage, I literally have not dropped a pick. I've been using these probably for about three years now. I have yet to drop a pick while performing and that I, certainly couldn't say back in the day when I was using regular celluloid picks or even Tortex or some of the other types of picks out there. So what I want to share with you is something made by Dunlop and it's called a Max Grip. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it when I hold it up so I'm going to show you a photo. This is a pick that has a really cool almost tire tread like gripper surface on it. Uh, the cool thing is that it doesn't add a ton of thickness to the pick. It just makes it really easy to grip to the point where you don't need to hold onto the pick very tight in order for it to remain attached to your fingers. It almost feels like it's attached. It's, it's quite cool. Uh, now this pick is made of nylon that may or may not be familiar to you in terms of a feel and in terms of the kind of sound that it has. So let me compare. I was, I was playing a celluloid pick here. sounds like, right? Now here's what the nylon pick sounds like. One thing, it's not a totally fair comparison because this nylon pick is a little bit heavier gauge than the medium. This is a, a super light heavy. This is an, a 0.88 millimeter uh, max grip uh, from Dunlop. I love this particular thickness, this gauge for, for playing on stage, because it kind of bridges the gap between a medium and a heavy pick. It's made of nylon. The other benefit of that is that these things wear forever. Uh, I was used to with, with celluloid picks and most other kinds of picks, frankly, you play them for a while and either they begin to get brittle, they start to crack, certainly true of thin picks, thin picks are cracking all the time. Uh, but the edges start to wear and at least the way the angle that I hold my hand at what I would find is that the the bevel along the edge would start to almost tear at the strings. I used to have a lot more broken strings as well when I would play using celluloid picks that got that edge damage so easily. These nylon picks uh, frankly, I could probably use one pick for a few weeks easily, just one, all, all on its own, and not have any problems. So another key, key item that I use to keep my picks under control on stage is uh, one of these mic stand pick holders. Now this is kind of dark. I don't know if you can see it. I can show a photo of that one too. But it'll hold five or six picks depending on how you have them put in there. There's a little slot the picks slide right into. The cool thing also about the Max Grip is that when you slide it in there, it actually grips. You can feel it sort of attach, which means they're not gonna fall out of here. Now again, I used to rely on this when I used celluloid picks because oh, one flies, I can grab another and I can keep playing, right? I would, I'd only have a short break between the two. Now I never drop the picks. So this just becomes 
if something happens, if it starts to not feel perfect, I can just grab a new one. Uh, the other thing that's great about these, and, and this is true of most picks, but uh, you can buy these in packages of 72 picks. Uh, I got this pack quite a while back. I probably still have, I don't know, 50 or 60 of them in there. I ended up buying this pack and spreading them all over to my different guitar cases just so that I'd have these always available. So that's my guitar discovery today, a short one. Uh, just to tell you about the Dunlop Max Grip Nylon Picks, available in a lot of different gauges. Really amazing the way it holds onto your hand. Uh, you, if you have a problem with drop picks, you won't have it anymore with, with this. It's really cool. So that's another guitar discovery. Thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe because I got lots of tips and tricks that I'd love to share with you. I want to make sure you get them all. Uh, these are how I like to share and give back some of the, the tidbits and secrets that I've learned over the years. So um, hope to see you again. I'm Robert Cassard.